Hey guys, it's me, Bubble Chick. Today I wanted to teach you a pose that I found really difficult when I first started yoga, and I still to this day find it extremely difficult just to hold and to feel comfortable in, and it's called Mayu Asana. Uh, you might have heard of it. If not, I'll show you what it is right now. So yeah, Mayu Asana requires a lot of not only arm strength, but core strength, especially. So I'm gonna show you a few stretches and exercises you can do in order to help you prepare for this pose. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna work on is core strength. So we're gonna do this one ab workout that really works out your core, and it's kind of tough, but you can handle it. So you're gonna start off by laying on your back, bring your knees to your chest, straighten out your legs and your hands above your head. Make sure that your feet and your hands are off the ground and just hold this and breathe through it. You should feel it here, everywhere. And breathe as deep as you can. and hold it for as long as you can. And release. All right, now we're gonna work on an arm balance. And the most basic one that you can start off with is Bakasana, or Bakasana is how they actually pronounce it. So the way that you do Bakasana is basically, um, the placement of the hands is exactly the same as a handstand. For me, I keep my hands just about this far apart, but you can keep your hands shoulder width apart. And then um, you place your knees either on your elbows or in your armpits or wherever feels comfortable. But the full pose looks like this. If you're struggling with the kasana or any other arm balance, then you should probably practice those before you attempt Mayu Asana. Just because Mayu Asana is very difficult and it's very easy to fall on your face, you're unlikely to hurt yourself, but just to be careful, make sure you practice other arm balances first that are a little bit easier and simpler to handle. However, if you can handle the kasana, then it's time to practice Mayu Asana, and the easiest way to do this without practicing the full pose is to do a variation of the pose, a modification. And the, the simplest one is to do Mayu Asana and Lotus. So if you can enter Lotus, so like your feet are like this in your lap, then go for it. If you can't, then crisscross applesauce is fine too. It'll just be kind of hard to hold it in the pose. But even if you can just do this, that's great too. Just make sure that you hold your foot up. For me, it's easier just to go into the full pose. Okay. So once you're here, the most important thing of Mayu Rasan and the thing that a lot of people forget to do that makes the pose a lot harder is to put the hands backwards. So your hands are not placed forward like they are in a handstand, they're actually placed backwards. And this makes it easier to hold yourself up in this pose. So your hands are backwards, they're placed about shoulder width apart, just like in a handstand. And you're going to place your elbows right in your sides. So right where your ribs are, um, you shouldn't be placing them in your stomach because then you're going to have to be flexing your stomach well, you already are going to be flexing your stomach the whole time, but you're not going to be able to hold yourself up if you put your elbows in your stomach. So put them right where your rib cage is, and just to feel it out, just start leaning on your elbows, barely taking the weight off of your legs, just leaning into it. And then you can slowly lift off.
If you fall on your face, it's okay. It's best that you do it now so you're not afraid of it later. Um, try to avoid resting your chin on the ground. Uh, the point of this pose is so that you're completely balanced on your arms. If you feel <laughs> if you feel more comfortable with your chin on the ground, you can start like that, but don't put a lot of weight there because it defeats the purpose of this pose. So once you feel comfortable in Migrasana, when you're in Lotus, you should do both sides, which I will do right now. So switch your legs and practice it on both sides. And now, if you feel comfortable there, and if you can hold that for three to five breaths, then you are ready to try Mayurasana, the full pose. So, same thing as Mayurasana and Lotus, hands are backwards, placed about shoulder width apart. Get on your hippie toes in the back, almost like you're in plank, but your hands are backwards. Start to lean forward, your head kind of tilts toward the ground. And then slowly, by engaging your abs, lift your feet off the ground. Um, if, if it's too difficult, you can bend in your knees, so that way your center of gravity is more toward your, your arms. The reason this pose is so hard is because since your legs are extended and your legs weigh a lot, you're going to be using your abs a lot to hold yourself up and a lot of us don't have very strong cores. So this pose is great for engaging the core. So anyway, that is how you do Mayurasana. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment in the comment section below as to why you did not, so I can improve my videos in the future. Um, remember to keep your gaze upward. Try not to look down, because when you look down, you're more likely to fall down. Try to look up, so that way you keep your body in a straight line. Yeah, good luck, guys. I hope this video works out for you, and post a... Uh, and post a video response of yourself trying Mayu Rasana if you feel like it. Alright, have a good one guys. I'll see you soon. Adios.